Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Tyler here. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get autocomplete while using TypeScript, Electron, and yeah, let's get started. So this is assuming you already know how to set up the context bridge and how to expose an API to the main window. Now, once this is basically set up, say I wanna get access to this API and I wanna be able to do window.api. Say system in dot threads to get the amount of threads on a user's machine. Well, you can see I can do that by doing window dot api dot and I have IntelliSense, so I can do dot system dot threads. It knows it's a number. Now you may be wondering, okay, how did you get that? Because I can't seem to figure this out. And really, it's not that complicated. It's only a few extra lines of code. So the first thing I did is in the bridge dot ts. This is my preload script. I basically exported. Um, my API before putting it in the context bridge. So I just exported it. I said, hey, here's my API. It has all these properties and methods and things like that. I exported it. So it is available to other scripts. And this is the script we needed in. I basically created an at types folder, which currently only has this um, bridge.d.ts um, in it. But I said, hey, Import that API script. So if I control click, you can see it is this API script um, object, sorry. And we're saying, hey, declare global. So we're saying in the global scope of the interface window, we're gonna say there's an API, like an, an object that has the type of our API object. Now what this is doing is it'll basically saying to Electron, hey, if you can see if I get rid of this and I come into my global, I, and I do window.api, you can see it's no longer there. It's like, hey, what's this What's this API thing? And you can kind of see what it's telling you to do. Now, if I uncomment this, you can see my error goes away because window.api is all of a sudden defined. And really, it's, it's that simple. Uh, we just have to think, hey, this API is an object, so we need to get the type of it. And as you can see, it gets the type, and it's all right here. And inside of the bridge um, dot ts, so our preload scripts, we also want to set, um, we want to export it so it's available there. And other than that, everything else is pretty much uh, the same. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.